47 Republican senators put their names today to this open letter to Iran, informing Iran that it may not fully understand our constitutional system, and a warning that the Senate must ratify international agreements, which in reality isn't the case for a deal like this. And they go on to say that any nuclear agreement not voted in by Congress will be viewed as, quote, nothing more than an executive agreement between President Obama and Ayatollah Khamenei, which the next president could simply revoke with the stroke of a pen. Well, this president had a pointed response. I think it's somewhat ironic uh, to see uh, some members of Congress wanting to make common cause with the hardliners in Iran. Uh, it's an unusual coalition. The surprising move was led by Senator Tom Cotton, who today defended it. Now, the only thing unprecedented is an American president negotiating a nuclear deal with the world's leading sponsor of state terrorism without submitting it to Congress for approval. Democrats, though, wasted no time pouncing on this as bizarre, cynical, a desperate ploy to sabotage negotiations. Juvenile political attacks is a kind of pettiness that diminishes, diminishes us as a country. Senator Durbin said the letter weakens America's hand, highlights our political divisions to the rest of the world, and had a warning of his own. If these negotiations fail, a military response to Iran developing their nuclear capability becomes more likely. These Republican senators should think twice about whether their political stunt is worth the threat of another war in the Middle East. The fact is they're against a deal. If they're so ashamed of that position, why wouldn't they advocate it publicly? The White House would not say whether such a letter harms or threatens these delicate negotiations with Iran, would only say it interferes. Congress would have some role in this process, ultimately to remove the tough sanctions against Iran, or not, if that were part of the deal. But interestingly, the White House revealed today that that would only happen years down the road from a deal. A number of years, they said, after Iran proves itself willing to comply.